It's time now for Focus. Now, as nuclear talks between Iran and major world powers go down to the wire, suspicion on both sides continues to ride high, with the West insisting it needs more proof that the Islamic Republic's nuclear intentions are peaceful. In this special report, our correspondents have gained rare access to Tehran's nuclear research reactor and then asked a French nuclear expert to give his assessment of their findings. Alex Turnbull and Antoine Mariotti. Its cooling tower rises above the compound, home to the Iranian Atomic Energy Agency. Pons Bankat was granted special access to the Tehran research reactor, the country's first ever built nuclear facility. Tehran research uh, reactor is uh, constructed and designed in uh, 1960s in order to perform uh, for, uh, fundamental nuclear research. The U.S. supplied the reactor, and for over a decade, it ran on weapons-grade 93% enriched uranium. But after revolutionary Iran cut ties with the West, the country went in search of new partners. This is a typical uh, standard fuel element, which is produced uh, by uh, the Argentinian company Invap. And we have tried to to duplicate this fuel element exactly the same as this one, as I show you. A nuclear weapons advisor, François Giry, has traveled to Iran 18 times in the last decade. He's familiar with the Tehran reactor. The disclosure of such technical details comes to him as a surprise. It is quite remarkable that an Iranian official should mention the name of an exporting country, an exporting company. It shows they want to be precise. They're saying, we're telling the truth and you can check. They've decided to be more open and say they have nothing to hide. In the late 80s, the reactor was converted to operate with low enriched uranium and Argentina provided the fuel, but just enough for 10 to 20 years. The uh, operation time and the samples to be irradiated was increased and increased, and that is why at the moment we exhausted from uh, the uh, abroad fuel elements and we, we have tried, of course, the government has tried to produce the, the domestic fuel element in the country. According to our guide, a third of the fuel burnt here is made domestically, and authorities have plans to produce more to meet growing needs of the Russian-built Boucher power plant and expand the country's nuclear capacities. We are formulating, we have um, agreed to have two more new uh, type of, this type of uh, uh, power plants, and there is going to be more again after these three. Two stories below, scientists are working on the medical applications developed here to help treat cancer patients. Uh, we produce uh, some radio pharmaceutical. Radio pharmaceutical. Here you see uh, we have uh, a special uh, radio pharmaceutical as the technician 99M for diagnostic imaging agent. It means uh, when we inject the patient, you have a picture, for example, for diagnostic, not therapy. Iran admitted to isolating polonium-210 in the early 90s in a lab just like this one. The polonium can be used to trigger a chain reaction in a nuclear weapon, but the government says it shut down military experiments years ago. They're truly transparent about the installations kept under supervision. However, Iranians believe the inspectors shouldn't have access to facilities which aren't directly linked to their nuclear program. On the other hand, the International Atomic Energy Agency says it would be more comfortable if it could inspect facilities where Iran's nuclear capabilities might help develop other technologies. All the doors are open, but there are also some regulation, there are some standards. Let's say, for instance, in, in France, in your own country, in European country, the doors are not open for everybody to enter. Iran has gone on their inspection more than any other country in the history 
of the agency. The PR department conducted the visit under tight supervision. A security official insisted on going through our camera's memory card and deleted the clips he deemed sensitive. For François Giré, the Iranians have good reasons to be suspicious. Well, this is specific to Iran. This is because several of their scientists were assassinated or have been targeted by assassination attempts. So they've really tightened such precautionary and security measures these last five to seven years. Ten years ago, they didn't have to worry so much, and there were no security measures of this kind. Apart from the former chief supervisor who retired in recent years and was brought in for the organized tour, none of the employees at the site agreed to give their name or appear on camera without a mask. It's time now for the sports news, and we start today with the Davis Cup. We'll draw for the Davis Cup final.